So what do you say? Generally, this model makes a good impression. It has really top-notch dynamics. You should get used to its controllability a bit. And probably add a couple of options to that it's not so cold at the will. But taking into account that it's a domestic project, the emotions are purely positive. No, we are not crazy. And it's not a cycle news or even not a test drive. This is a video report about how talented, we may even say gifted people do amazing things, which unfortunately do not make due attention as a rule. This is Evgeny Duinov and this is an electric bicycle whose engine theoretically develops the speed of up to 250 miles an hour. On one of the entertaining resources, there was information about it saying that in Yakutia they assembled a miracle bicycle with cosmic performance. In fact, it was accelerated up to the speed of 100 miles an hour so far. And there's a geography mistake too. It took place in Zelenograd, in some leased premises of a former research institute. We started working on a hub motor on February 4, 2015. An idea appeared to implement our research results to create a product available for every consumer. Since we'd already had some experience of making electric car drives, we gradually realized that we need to do some for two-wheelers as well. The same last name is not a mere coincidence. Dmitry Alexandrovich is Evgeny's father, inventor, developer, project manager altogether, a think tank of the small company named AS and Double P. The induction hub motor is the product of his hand and head work. Induction motors are applied everywhere in industry, everywhere, but they haven't been used for vehicles because of a lack of power electronics with the help of which alternating current could be produced from direct current, is the first reason. Let's look at it from the very beginning. What is an induction motor? That's how it engineered in a nutshell. The current goes through the winding. When the phases are switched, the field is turned and so is the vector of magnetic induction. In synchronous motors, the rotor turns with the same frequency as the resultant vector of the magnetic flux created by the starter. In induction motors, rotor rotates slower, and instead of magnets, short circulated turns create the diving torch. And now about the second reason, which explains the novelty of the invention. The thing is that all attempts to make a hub motor failed, because hub motors with standard winding types have low starting torch and poor power to weight ratio. We have developed a new winding type which allows to get high starting torch, low starting currents and high torch even in standard motors after changing the standard winding to the one we have developed. That's how the idea appeared to try it on a hub motor. It's hard to understand this without proper background knowledge, but we'll try to explain. There are two most common winding types. They remind delta and star shapes and are named accordingly. Dunov and his colleagues decided to combinize these two types. And that's how the so-called Slavyanka appeared. It allows to provide the performance characteristics of the electromagnetic motor, which have never been obtained before. The application scope of this development is broad, from cars to heavy military equipment. Such motors are energy efficient, durable and not expensive to produce. The technology was already tested on four-wheel vehicles. It was such a success that there was an attempt to steal the secret of the innovation. It's no surprise since the performance of the motors with Duinov's winding excelled even the latest Tesla research results. And the car itself, which was equipped with all this, is impressive. Zaporozhets was made by Sergei Belchev Mercedes. It took him a month to make Zaporozhets. He brought and made it so well that the distance and speed rate allowed it to take part in Kiev Monte Carlo Marathon. It did just as well as other cars. Moreover, it came to the finish line even despite the fact that two stages were annulled, because it demonstrated quite good results. And considering the fact that it arrived to a pointed place and there was no charger there, so it covered 640 miles on a single charge. And then this car was dragged a bit while being at a parking place. They hoped that it would be repaired at the same place, with the other cars, which means providing all conditions for a detailed examination and copying that technology. But the team were not taken in by the ploy, and took all their secrets back home. Sure, it's more than just an interesting experience for a car-making industry.
Apart from the efficiency and durability, this is about making a car with four independent driving wheels with all the advantages it implies. But let's get back to our bicycle. It was taken to the Echo Week exhibition. The reaction of the guests was predictable. A lot of them would want such a two-wheel vehicle. They were interested when it would be put into production, where it could be bought and what the price would be. And the potential internet clients are ready to purchase such a bicycle right now. So if there's a demand, what presents the problem? It's hard to speak about match production or mass production so far. Because though the people want the product and ask about it, it's not clear if the industry want to work on it. Bicycle manufacturers, motor manufacturers, where are they? Nevertheless, there are small enterprises and some manufacturers, industrial companies, who want to produce this product. And the task is very simple – to find these people. In other words, the innovation itself doesn't raise any questions. He we know well how to market bicycles, even though the company focuses not on vehicles, but the technologies for induction motors. But no one is in her to use these technologies, and it's more about bureaucracy rather than financial issues. What is the contradiction? The design engineers can do it, the developers can do it, but don't want to. Why? Class struggle. They ask why. We have boss, we make money for him, but he won't share it with us. So why should we do work which will take our time for the same salary and so on? And the boss lives in another dimension. He is up in the sky and the employees are down here on the ground. Which leads to some contradictions. Some people don't want, the others can. But despite that, bicycles produced using the technology of Mitra Alexandrovich are bound to appear. And if it's a reasonable question, how much will it cost? I can only speak about the production cost. Judge about it. But if I announce the cost now, it would be hard to come to an agreement with those who are deal with the sales. Only one thing can be said definitely and without any doubt. It will be much cheaper than mortis with permanent magnets. But I suppose there is not so much time left till we get the answer to this question. And the next month we'll be able to announce these figures, I suppose. Well, the talks are underway and the technologies keep on developing. We may know business, but we are primarily inventors. We also have a technology for producing batteries with better capacity, efficiency and safety, as well as a dozen or more other super-promising know-hows. But that is probably another story.